Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I am Teron Davenport and we are here. We got to keep the receivers rolling. We got to keep them run, rolling. I played the position so naturally I'm going to want to talk to receivers. This is Leontay Carew out of Rutgers. Leontay, coming into this week, I mean, when I watch you, you know, I, I like the way you play the game aggressively. You're strong. Coming into this, this week of practice, what did you want to show these scouts and personnel folks that you bring to the table? Uh, just what type of tough, you know, receiver I am. That tough, uh, mentality that I bring to the game you know I'm going to be strong at the top of my routes and I'm going to catch everything thrown to me I'm going to snatch the ball out of the air and you know when we get to these one-on-ones you know I'm going to show the scouts you know what type of you know strength I have and you know being explosive in and out of my breaks. You mentioned being strong within your routes there's a, a DB here Tavon Young who, who actually does a really good job of pattern matching and, and he's He's a smaller guy, but he's strong with, with receivers also. Just the, the mindset and, and just the, the technique, how do you go about out-muscling a, a defensive back when you're going in your routes? You just got to have better play with better technique with them. You got to make sure you keep low pad level. You can't let them get underneath them, and every time they put that hand on you, you got to continue to wipe it off and wipe it off or you know pop it down and make sure you know DBs don't like to get hit. So you got to keep you know hitting their hands and being aggressive with them. They're going to be aggressive. They're going to hold. They're going to grab. But you got to be aggressive right back with them. Speaking of being aggressive, you're going into the NFL. There's going to be a lot of corners that like to press. You know what happens if the corner, uh, the quarterback looks and sees you uh, getting tangled up at the line. <coughs> mm-hmm. Talk about your release and your get off, how you can get off against press coverage. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much all technique. You know, if I if I see a uh, a, a cornerback that's inside leverage, I'm going to freeze him, you know, give him sun inside and, and then, you know, blow the top off or if he's head up. You know, a lot of DBs nowadays, they like to play head up into the boundary because they know it's a it's a harder release uh, for the receiver. And, you know, you just got to make sure you attack that outside shoulder, stretch him. And if he bites on it, you know, best best win release, you know, take the inside or take the outside. But, you know, it's, it's just pretty much when you're out there and you're on that island, you got to play with better technique than he is. As far as the blocking part of it is concerned, that's something else that you had to do at Rutgers, obviously. You're going to have to do it in the league. What's the mindset? I mean, don't tell me just technique. I mean, you're technique me to death. I know there's there's more to it than that. So just talk a little bit about just the blocking part of it. Uh, like you said, it's a mindset. You know, you, you want your running backs to, to get that extra yard and, and, and an extra – uh, burst up the field so you know you just got to make sure your man doesn't make the tackle and that's got to be your mentality you you're going against him you know it's you and him one-on-one your man can't make the tackle you your man make the tackle you fail so you just got to go out there and, and just be tougher and, and make sure you get underneath their pad level and make sure that man doesn't make the tackle lastly just as far <laughs> as the, the separation side of things I mean you're your individual receiver what is it that separates you from some of the other guys in this draft class um, definitely my catching ability. You know, I take pride in the way I catch the ball. You know, I'm going to try to catch everything that's thrown to me, and I'm going to make sure I'm aggressive and, and, and also, you know, m- the way I'm physical at the top of my routes as well. And also I take pride in my blocking. You know, a lot of receivers feel like, oh, I just got to catch the ball. I got to score touchdowns. I'm going to do that too, but I'm going to make sure my running backs get extra yardage as well. Awesome. There you have it. Leontay Carew, Rutgers wide receiver. Definitely keep a lookout for him throughout draft season. Leontay, we appreciate you Thank taking you. your time. Appreciate All right. it.